I still believe that the day we talk to Liz and the exorcist is the day the paranormal floodgates opened. The insights and stories shared during that conversation are echoed in almost every conversation we've had with sensitives here and around the world. So you could say I was so excited to know that the exorcist we talked to in episode 20 decided to talk with us again. He grew up not acknowledging his sensitivity and realizing eventually the instrumental role he would play in different people's lives. Join us as we talk about the ascension, unusual spirit animals, and of course, protection. I was particularly happy that during the call, Nicholas's uh, Duende Bantay agreed on the spot to have his name made known. So thank you. Enjoy. Uh, Nick, Nicholas, uh, so of course not your real name. Uh, ever since actually our call, parang you shape what we eventually became as a podcast. Yun, we realized na uh, yung value <laughs> value in helping out actually. Eh. So the people here in the call are people uh, who, who also help and uh, we try to help. So Sam... Uh, yung naglalakad sa, sa kalye. <laughs> uh, he grew up with a gift. He grew up seeing... Oh, wonderful. He grew up seeing uh, people and uh, elementals, actually. Parang na-feel namin na parang it's better to... Instead of just scaring people with with scary stories na experiences ng mga people with third eye, we realized na let's try to see more... To share more information about uh, protection and yung mga mas positive naman na stories. Pero okay pa rin yung takotan, pero... <laughs> <laughs> Ayun. Every episode yata na may mention ka namin. <laughs> na parang nakakwento ko yung remote uh, remote viewing mo, nakakwento ko yung sa sa mga sa mga bantay mo. Kasi so, sobra siyang interesting and pag bini-bring up ko yun sa ibang sensitives, again mas nag-open up sila na parang na-realize nila okay, hindi na niloloko tong tao to or hindi kami kasi puro stranger rin yung kausap namin eh, so nag-open up rin sila. So ask ko lang Nicholas for you, kailan siya nagsimula? I mean, at what age ka nung na-realize mo, uy, parang meron akong iba? I think as a, a kid, but I had a long stage of denial. Kasi. But when I was a kid, uh, okay, the strange part was, it was like I had two minds, okay, because there were two things I wanted to be when I was a kid. I wanted to be a scientist and I wanted to become a priest. So it was like, uh, two different things. The strange part about wanting to become a priest um, was that my family was not religious at all. We never okay. went. None. Uh-oh. We never went to Mass. We never prayed together. The only time there would be anything of religion would be uh, KBF. Kasal, uh, Bilyag, Lubig. Yun lang. Okay. So there was nothing at all. Nothing. No, no, no Christmas, no Easter. I, I mean, you have the, the commercialized version. But since I was a kid, I, I wanted to become a priest. I don't know why. And then uh, what happened was, uh, oh, I remember Patanj. Okay, so we'd be playing with you know, my, my cousins, my siblings, Barin Barinan and whatever. But we would break because I will say mass. And I would use chippy and mm-hmm. ladies' mm-hmm. choice grape juice for the wine. <laughs> you know, it was really strange. Uh, but I remember when I was a kid, um, Okay, I remember sometimes like my grandmother's talking with her friend, they're making friends about something, and then the friend saying, you know what? And they did, and you know how many people like that? And I'm playing there, and I go seven, and they look, how did you know? You know, stuff like that. So, uh, oh, it was just picking up things. Um, I did get interested in, in stuff, you know, um, of a magical nature. I read books and whatever. Yes. I mm. like those stories and stuff. Um, but there was a time that I remember I got a little, not a little frightened, but every time I would be at the point between falling asleep, you're, you're falling asleep, mm. you half, yes. half awake, Uh-oh. I would hear voices. So I started to turn on the radio. So I I just always had the radio on along, uh, throughout the night because I would hear whispering and whatever. There were always little experiences. Okay, I, I'll have to jog my memory. But, you know, I, I was very spiritual, religious. I was always prayerful. 
Uh, I was always exploring that aspect even up to early high school. Uh, eventually, I, I guess the science mind um, took over a bit in the sense that, and I went to theology school. I, went, uh, I was there for many years. I usually need about, like, for a, a degree, I think in 36 units of the, the, the main subject. Mm. I took 96 <laughs> Because I wanted yes, to learn uh, everything. Yes, uh, it was just learning and learning. But the theology and scripture that I learned, it was a little more progressive. So there were things like, uh, there were thoughts na, well, maybe angels were actually literary figures that blah, 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 blah. So a lot of the, the magic part, the miraculous part, uh, was explained away in a different way. So it was kind of fading. Enough. I would have experiences every now and then, but I would just uh, block it off. But, but of, what, of what nature? Mostly, tama. Nicholas, mas sayo is mas spirits lang, eh, no? You don't see elementals or you can feel them also. No, no. Uh, before, hindi. Um, okay. Um, when we were kids, uh, of course, I wouldn't do this now. Uh, we would play Spirit of the Glass. And uh, the, our old house had a lot of uh, duende. So we would, you know, and then it's like, okay, yin, yin, yin. until my father who didn't believe the man, you know, he, was, he started to ask questions and got shocked because the answers were coming out that we wouldn't know. So then he sat with us and he kept on asking questions. And I remember because he used to make taya in the horse races. And mm. <laughs> so he asked and then they said, uh, we can't tell you what the number is, but we'll tell you how much it will be. And it was... Uh, Correct. So, and the, I didn't have the experiences with the Duende, thank God. But the friends, you know, who would come to the house would say, although there was a, our house was, it was like turn of the century, pa. it was like a old, old house with secret passages and spiral staircases. You know, you're in one room and you, you pass up and you're into another room, you know, so we'd play tricks and friends, you know, you were, were there and then big lang. Oh, all our friends are there. And then I come in the door. And they're like, wait, how did you? How, uh -oh. You were inside. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they couldn't understand, you know. Um, but it was kind of like that. There were scary parts of the house. There were scary parts of the place. There were stories. But just avoided it. So uh, we did have a situation, though we had an exorcism in the house. Uh, because one of our helpers got uh, possessed. Yeah. And since I was going to... A Catholic school, um, I was the one serving at the mass. Of course, they brought in a priest. But a lot of it, I, I wasn't seeing. I, I didn't want to see, I guess. But it was more of little things, uh, picking up things, reading people's minds, or bits of remote viewing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it was a joke. Um, I, I know, like that. You know, like for example, I know, why don't you just get up from your bed like that, you know, and then uh, turn off your Sony TV and your blah, 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 blah. And then, how do you know what I'm doing? I mean, like, and then I'm just joking. Yeah, you're wearing, let's say, gray shirt and your blue shorts. And then he said, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> it's going like that. And I go, but I didn't, you know, it wasn't like I was trying to read. Yes, it was yes, just, it I just was came. just talking. And, uh -huh. and everything was like, and okay. And then, but more and more, as I went into theology school, I shut it. Mm. I, I, I wasn't entertaining it. Yes. Though there was, it was always, nah, that's this, nah, that's that. Oh, I remember, uh, because I, I was working in uh, some schools, and I would, uh, a lot of the high school kids, college kids would uh, come to me. And uh, I remember one of them, always talked to me he came from a broken family and everything and he, he would uh, he used to call me his diary okay because at night before he sleeps opens up and stuff and then i remember when he began fourth year high school he suddenly started telling me i see dead people so at that time i was like ah okay you know uh -uh. in my mind it's like okay it is something psychological but yes. i will not dismiss it yes and it was like that like that and then in 1998 one time he calls me i uh, know it shifts uh, he says, I don't see dead people anymore. He says, I see angels, demons, grandes, and all these other, yes. all this whatever, nah, this whole, and he makes, and I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. 
until one night he calls me up uh, past midnight and he says, I just talked to your friend. I said, who friend? And he says, well, the ones that you don't see. And I sa he says, I think it's your angel. And he has a message for you. Ah, okay, what's the message? And he says, you had this dream recently. And then he describes the dream. I had this very uh, detailed and um, vivid dream. I had no idea what it meant. Yes. And then so this person tells me that my angel uh, makes quiet on the dream. Oh, 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 oh. And then tells me what the meaning was. And so I was kind of like, <laughs> you know, the, all those few years of like, uh, okay, denying it, oh. yeah, yeah, no, no, parang, yeah, you, you, you're just trying to explain it another way. Uh, okay, and then he told me that time the angel said now to look for a certain professor who had the gift of seeing and talking to angels. So, and he said now that there was this place before called Chakra near Ateneo, Center for Healing and Creative Arts. And so I, the next day I tried to go, I know they said, yes, he's going to be starting sessions, uh, angel reading or angel counseling sessions mm -hmm. on the first weekend of July, every Saturdays morning, like 10 to 12. Okay. So I said, can you book me? Then I said, no, we can't book you uh, yet. We're only going to accept booking on June 1. June 1, I was in Baguio with some friends. I kept on calling and calling and calling, 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 calling. Get through. By the time I got through, uh, it was booked already now for two years. I complained. I said, what? <laughs> I was going to know it got booked this morning. And then I said, we can put you in the waiting list. And then you're number 30. Okay. That's it. And then my best friend at that time was saying, did you book me? You never said you wanted me. You never told me you wanted. Okay, so I had to call back. He was number four. But the first week, uh, nearing the first week, I got a page. Uh, there's an available schedule on, you know, are you interested? Mm -hmm. For the first, so I called and I called her. Ah, okay. The first two people now that were supposed to be in the first session yeah. back up. Okay. So they said they tweeted message seven. You're the first one that can find. That, that, that was it. And uh, I that was the... Oh, it started pala that, sorry, before that happened, July, I was gone out of the house for 18 days. When I got back, uh, my father and everybody at home were making cuento that, uh, of which at that time I was thinking, everybody's gone now. <laughs> they said now that while I wasn't here, they would hear me singing in my room. Wow. And they're good, but he's not here. Mm -hmm. So they'd come and look and nobody's here. And sometimes that the TV would go on in my room or the stereo would go on, nobody's here. But everybody was saying they would hear me singing. Mm -hmm. So then I was thinking, okay, everyone's nuts. My dad had a girlfriend that time. One time the mother of the girlfriend came over and she was gifted and she says, Make I can come out and it was like that. And then Yan and Quarta Mono. So we get in. And then it introduces me to the two uh -oh. that the I said, I don't know. Yeah, so, you know, I don't see them uh -oh. or what. And I just dismissed it until I met the angels here. Mm -hmm. Actually, what was interesting pa, was uh, I told my best friend, guess what? I'm, I don't know, I, I got in. Mm -hmm. And then he says, guess what? I'm number two. <laughs> so then we, we I remember pa, we made the Twilight Zone sound. Uh -oh. You're like, okay, what's this? And we planned it. It was really a powerful experience. Uh, it, it shocked me. And uh, I, that, that, that's a whole new story itself. But then I asked, I asked, uh, in, wait, there's this thing in the house, mm -hmm. blah, 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 that noise. Can, and they were copying me and all of that. And they said, was that my angel? And then it goes, oh, no, that's your friend, Edwende. They're not the one with you. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> there, there, there. And, oh, so, oh, my gosh. So that means what that the mother of yes. the girlfriend was also true. So, and, the, and that was the start, actually. Um, but during the experiences started to happen, but I was still, it happens to other people, but not to me. Okay. It, it was like that. Uh -oh. Parang, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you. I believe you. But me, no, no, it doesn't happen to me. But then uh, I met this lady by the year 2000. Uh, her name's I think most gifted person I've ever met. That even the, my gifted friends later on who meet her, it's like, uh, she's a very humble, uh, poor lady. But when you sit with her, uh, you just have to shut up. Don't say anything. Mm -hmm. 
no, what's your name? What's your birthday? Nothing. And she just, she just floods you with information. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, things that really she couldn't know, even things you pray about. Um, there's a bit of the future, but I, a, a bit of the past and a, a lot of the present, but also pers uh, helping you see things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. But it was just like, uh, I don't know, there were things that I kept to myself that I prayed about, mm -hmm. and she told me in detail. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's where things really took a turn. And then she was already telling me that, oh, you're going to be doing these things, these things. And then I said, oh, no, I'm not. And then she says, psychic guy. No, 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 I don't think so. No, no. And she was telling me already all these things. And then I would be having strange dreams. And sometimes she would tell me the dreams without me telling her. Or sometimes I became the, how do you say this, uh, contact person for her for a lot of people. Okay. Because she would come from So I would invite her here to my place and i would just invite people to come to see her yes. also and then we start because she doesn't she doesn't charge whatever you give mm -mm. one time we we just put out we put a minimum price and we said okay you know if you want to see her because there was one time that i remember she had she was asked by three people to come over to some office from she read them and they only gave her 50 pesos just wasn't even enough for her to go yes, home. So, uh -huh. so i told them i know we're going we'll do this for you we'll mm -hmm. fix this mm -hmm. for you so I would see her here every week, um, once a week, sometimes twice a week, because a lot of people will be coming over. And sometimes at the start, she will say, she will tell me, ah, okay, si ganito, si ganito. Bilin, <laughs> yung parang, because sometimes it comes from her dreams. Yes. Pakisabi kay ganito, 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 like that. And then I remember one part that she told me, pakisabi si kay ganito, uh, wag muna siyang umalis. And then she, apparently she told me because the father wasn't going to last long. Okay. And parang ganun, but I wasn't supposed to say that the father's going yes. to last long. Pag ano lang, di ba? And that person, I remember, was so torn because he was like, wait, what, wait, wait, oh, yes. what? I'm going to start a new job. I have to get ready and all of that. And then, yeah, the father passed. Uh, passed. Uh, but at least he was able to, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, and then, so I guess, you know what? Um, what S was saying? Ah, yes. <laughs> that, uh, Sam, okay lang. That, yeah, when you are relating Atta with people who are gifted, it rubs off on you. It amplifies it, it no? It triggers. Yes. Okay. It amplifies. So, I became a mouthpiece for, for a while. While the gift was also accelerating. But even when I was accelerating, she would tell me, she'll say, my friends and the angels will say, ay, nako, ayaw mo pa ni maniwala, nandun na sa harap mo. <laughs> They're giving the signs, and yes. then I'm still denying, doubting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember there was one time that uh, so one person contacted me. They needed help for someone because parang minumulto sa bahay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that every three o'clock in the morning, yung, the one person in one person in the house would get up and was having conversations and arguments with someone. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the others are just like watching because he's like, oh, no, you know, go back to sleep. But it's like sleepwalking, but arguing. Until natakot lang because the next day, he woke up not in the bedroom already. He was somewhere else. He woke up, he was, ano? So they said, can you ask And I asked for help and she says, she doesn't do that. Okay. But she says, but you do. Okay. <laughs> I don't do those. I don't do that. Then, then she says, you go there. And uh, I say, you go there and then you bring candles and ganyan, example. And uh, what will I do? So she taught you stuff? No, she didn't. Ah, okay. She just told me, oh, you, you know you know that. I don't know that. So, and she says, no, when you're there, you will know. Mm -hmm. So I went there and uh, I was brought around. I was really, actually, when I went there, I went there 10 at night. Okay. <laughs> and I got scared because like a scene from The Exorcist. Oh. <laughs> if you ever see the movie The Exorcist, yes, yes. about going to the house, is this long stairs? Yes, 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 yes. Then I go, this is like the stairs from The Exorcist. That the, the winding place. stairs. Like, uh -oh. No, no. <laughs> like, it's like the scene from The Exorcist. Like, I said, okay, no, then it's, no, no, my security guard, the man, so okay. 
And then, so I went there and then uh, I, I did uh, whatever and I didn't know what to do. I just prayed. I just sat there and whatever. And then the next thing, um, I find out that it stopped. And the reason why it stopped, they wanted to move in with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my, how would you say this? The key duende that's always with me. Yes. Uh -oh. Was the one that approved. Or said, okay. No, well, told me. Uh -oh. Tells me. And uh, she, um, asking down my permission. Mm. I said, what? <laughs> Gusto daw nila lumipat kasi mabait ako sa kanila. I blessed them down. Mm -hmm. And I gave them candies. Ayun, whatever. Were, were, were they spirits or were they elements? They were spirits. Uh, spirits. Yeah. Okay. I got their names actually when I was leaving. Okay. At that time. Um, it was when I was leaving the door, I there were two names, a male and a female. Um, and they wanted to come in. Then I said, oh, no. <laughs> and then I saw, I said, ask uh, my friend. So, well, okay. Uh, si Red. That, yes, that's yes, the name uh, of the I'll okay, cut it so out the red. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, it's okay lang not to say his name. Okay. Lang. Okay. okay. Uh, um, red uh, said, ayaw niya daw, mag magugulo sila. So he became the, like the gatekeeper mm. for those that can, you know, and so, because there are others now. And then I found out na lang, because I had this, I had this habit, or I have this habit na, uh, a practice, not habit. But when I go to places, especially places of nature, I say a prayer of blessing for, uh, you know, Father, please bless all my brothers and sisters here, seen and unseen. Yes. You know, and, and, and then whatever flows from there. And then I find out, and some other people, that some of them, siguro, wow, how nice naman bless us. Masama. Kaya dumadami, ano. And so other gifted people, I come to them, sino naman mga bagong ampon mo? But I don't see them. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. It's other people that tell me. So those times, I, I wasn't that, See, red would be seen many times when I'm working mm -mm. by by clients, mm -mm. and uh, you know I I wasn't seeing him. But I remember there was this one experience that I had that kind of shocked me. This was early 2000s. Um, I was watching TV. This was two in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was watching TV and I was doing something at the same time. And then from the shelf there was an empty can of planters cheese cakes that flew. And hit me almost that wait, hit me in the head. Okay. But for some reason, I got gulat, but I didn't get scared. Okay. Then I was like, no, there must be some reason. No, a, a rat could, there's no rats here. There's no, you know, uh -oh. whatever. Until I see, and she says, Nako, uh, nagso sorry sila. Huh? Bakit? Naglalaro daw sila. Then see, uh, see Red or one of them. May binato sa isa, yung isa umilag nagtago sa likod mo, kaya ikaw yung natamaan. And then they all run down, scared because I might get mad. Uh -oh. And I said, I don't see them anyway, so if, even if they didn't run. Uh -oh. gonna, so there were always this little, the one that was interesting for me was, uh, that little blessings was, um, I was uh, working on the computer, I fell asleep. And, uh, I would be woken up. Mm. I would hear a voice waking me up. And then, oh my gosh, then I have to continue working. And that happened a number of times. But I think the most striking one was, um, it was three in the morning, past three, I finished praying, I went to sleep. I was so tired. I closed my eyes. The moment I closed my eyes, I saw like a video, you know, like I, I, I yes. saw in my work room, in my the cabinet door open mm. and the light turned on. And in my my I said, what the hell? Why? Why am I seeing yes. a scene of the you know that opening? And so I said aloud, "I'm so sleepy and so tired. I don't know why I'm seeing this. Is it one of you trying to tell me something? If it's one of you trying to tell me something, can you give me a sign?" And then I hear a slam on the wall. Mm -hmm. Not a slam. No, I not a not a tap. No, it was a wham. Mm -hmm. ah, I got scared. I opened the light. I said sign not scare me like oh. what the you know, parang what was that so i decided okay i'll get up and look and then it so happened that my assistant was in that you know it was one of those cabinets when you open it now there's a light and it was an incandescent bulb and there were papers that he put there and the last piece of paper he put he didn't put it properly it was like maybe an inch from the bulb yes so it could have caused a fire yes 
so then I was saying, thank you for warning. Thank you for warning. You know, but I said, gentle next time. <laughs> there was a, I one time also, um, this was right before the Gulf War. Mm -hmm. A Gulf War? The second Gulf War? Well, whatever. That, I, know. I remember I was praying. And uh, the moment I finished praying, the lights were off. I was praying. I suddenly heard Duende voice. Okay. As in like maybe a few feet away from me on the table. And it was like, ang daming sinasabi, but I didn't understand. And I got so scared. I'm like, wait, stop. <laughs> and then I opened the lights and said, don't scare me. Don't scare me. I mean, as I heard it with my actual ears. Yes. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like that. I know I bless you and talk to you every day. Even if you, I don't hear anything, but please don't shock me like that. Uh -oh. So I said, it might be important. Um, better yet, I'll turn on the computer. Please type it. So I turned on open word. And it talked again. I said, no, it's scaring me. You're scaring me. Type me lang, please, please. Third time, it talked again. Uh -oh. I said, please, please. Ganyan. And then I said, please type it because I don't under, I can hear you, but I don't understand anything. And then, hola, it's talked again. I said, don't, no, please. <laughs> like that. And I said, God, I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh -oh. Like that, you know. And then I, my fear just disappeared and I went to sleep. And then, the, because the, during those times, I was here about twice a week. So when she came, she was the one that told me. Like, so sorry, she read, na natakot ka. But, uh, nagtataka siya why I couldn't understand him. But the, the message down pala, that time was, they were asking, their community of duendes were asking, during, kasi it was the time I was saying, can you please pray so that there will not be a war? On, because they're also praying that there won't be a war, and then but there was a war, you know, there, there, there was that Gulf War. But it, that there were all these little things. Oh, and then of course, one time, pala, I, I don't know if I made it before that I won a car. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you, 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 you told that story when, when it comes napansin namin with other sensitive people, it's different for everyone, eh? Parang lumalabas. Kumbaga sa X-Men, iba-ibang <laughs> iba yeah, powers, yeah. eh, diba? iba-ibang sensitivities. With you ba, do you get those dreams also? Those parang medyo premonition na dreams? Um, I get a lot. I used to, okay. Um, you know the clearing houses or clearing, dealing with, ano, I think I was trained by, via dreams. Mm. Because I would, I would get these dreams and the dream Dreams would often be my hands would there would be light, and I would be in scary places, and then I would illuminate the stuff like that. Yes. And I remember one time, which was really strange. Uh, I was in a mall, and that was connected to like a hotel, mm -hmm. and then they were kind of like saying, "It's so dark there. There's this big function. It's so dark and everything." And I go in, and my in my dream, I'm in mean, battle mode. Yes. And I was like ready to allow. And then my hands were like, or I was ready to allow. And then I woke up with this message. Ika, parang something like, ikaw naman. Sabi ganun. Madilim lang. Nakakatakot lang. Paway ka agad. Okay. Ganun. Uh -huh. So then, every time it was like, it wasn't fighting. It was blessing. Yes. It was illuminating. Um, and I would, and then telling me tinuturoan ka sa panagin. Ah, okay. There pala. So, and then the rest, it was, she would just tell me, she would send me off sometimes when she's asked And she just says, uh, you, you will know what to do. But sometimes she will tell me, don't go, tell them to come to you. There was one that was really uh, pang sine. Okay. <laughs> sine na horror uh -oh. Uh -oh. movie. You know, but, I was about to say that you should make Wentonga one of the, the freakier. Um, yeah, th th this was a time pad that I wasn't fully I know yet with the, the gifts. Mm -hmm. um, actually, all these friends that they were saying, I wasn't seeing them. Yes. But later on, a whole group of friends started coming in that I see in my head. But the earlier batch, yes. but they're still around. I don't see them. I don't know why. You still don't see them. That I don't. But the, the newer ones... Yes. Or the new ones, you know, I, I will I will know. Like during the pandemic, like I said, why is there this lady in Greek attire in my workroom? <laughs> and I could see her yes. while I was in my bedroom. Yes. I was like, 
No, no, no. I'm just imagining. Then, then I see people, ladies attending to her, going up my stairs, and then like, I was going, no, I must be imagining. Oh. So I then I consult. Yes. I'll call or one of my other, you know, then so yeah. And you know, so these other ones, she says, I didn't tell, I don't tell yes. the details oh. because I want to see they pick up. And she went, oh my God, she's Greek and she's holding a stick. I said, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a stick, a staff, a spear, something like that. Okay. And but okay, and she saw it. And then the same thing happened. I this one really like for me was a little freaky because it I saw someone that I don't know if it's Aztec, Intan, <laughs> Mayan, or one of those things, and my headdress and whatever. <laughs> But I could see the face and it was very stoned, not smiling, not communicating. Yes. So I was kind of like, who are you and what are you trying to say or something? Inside your inside your house? Inside my house. Um, um, and I was like, who are you? What are you doing? And then it was like, just staring. <laughs> so then I had to ask again. And then they would tell me, na, I'm not sure, but some of And they said, either Mayan, Incan, whatever, one of those. And then he's a shaman. Yes. Shaman. Okay, why is he here? You're connected to him somehow. That's well, he's scary. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's not saying anything. Yes. But I, 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 I'm aware of them. I become aware of them during prayer time, mainly. Uh -oh. uh, there's a time, prayer time, that, okay, I, 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 I kind of know where they are. And they seem to gravitate towards certain positions. Uh -oh. Parang like, oh, there's some, uh, I know you're there. You know, there was one, uh, I, I couldn't understand exactly. Um, one day, I saw a bear. A huge white bear. Okay. But he was always, always far off left. Never communicated. But I can just see there's a bear there. Mm -hmm. And it's in my imagining. And the first time he interacted with me was after that exorcism I did in December 2019. I think I made that rental. Young girl. After the uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. After the exorcism, and they went home. Nah, it was held here. So kind of. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> at two in the morning, then, you know, the mind likes to. Yes, yes. Oh, no. What if it gets back at me? What if, you know, I started getting scared. What if, what if? And that's the first time I had the interaction with the bear. I saw the bear from far left walking towards me. And then shows me. Parang shows beat me before him was like a dark figure mm -hmm. and then with this huge paw, whacks it and I just see it flying really 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 far away and the bear just walks back oh. which was the message of saying you're protected yes, yes. you're safe yes and so then I went to sleep and I said oh okay because I was wondering why is there a bear always there <laughs> and I was like, okay uh -oh. I had no idea you know stuff like that but before that it was voila and uh, that scary part so I was not uh we were doing some work and uh, with a client <clears throat> during the lunch break, she was, she looked really tired. I said, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Then she goes, no, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just really too young. And I said, why, why haven't you been sleeping well? And the other, you know, her assistant yeah, says, her house because it's haunted. And then for some reason, at the moment, Sinabian opened while we're eating. And then I said, um, is your bedroom like this, like this? Is there, I said, I remember, it's like, is the color of the galito, galito? I started this, describing yeah. the lamp and the bed, and she's, yeah, how do you know? Then the moment I see it, I start zooming out and I start describing the room, etc. And then I start moving through the house. And then I said, ah, okay. Uh, is there a kid in your house? No, no, I'm the youngest. Ganyan, I'm the youngest already. You know, the rest of my siblings are much older. And she was 20 plus. Yes. Yeah. And I said, oh, okay, because uh, this kid is taking me around in the vision. And I said, he likes jumping on the bed. And that was one of the experiences. They feel like there's somebody moving. Yeah. And then there's, I said, there's this row of cabinets. He's running. And then when he runs, he's tapping on the cabinet. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That's that sound. <laughs> and then, um, okay, then he's hopping. I okay, again, again, like that. So, but there were, I started to go around the house and other places and whatever. Then I remember I went to a uh, dining area mm -hmm. and I said, Oh, do you have, do you have a mana? 
Sabi niya, nako, we don't have a mana. What are you talking about? Like, I said, I'm sorry. I didn't think so because she looked like she's wearing something from Time ni Rizal or something. Mm-hmm. But there's a mana there. And then, um, as I was going around, then I said, oh, no. And then <laughs> she then goes, why, why? There's something that's not nice here. Mm-hmm. And it's targeting mainly your brother. And then she tells me about the brother, that the brother was going through certain issues. And the cuento was, they were really ang gulo. Mm-hmm. Not to the point na sometimes this entity would hit, yes, so. wake them up, yank them. Yes. Um, and especially that, that brother that was having issues. Now he'd wake up and then he'd open, his, he'll be woken up and he'll see a scary face. And sometimes they'll smell burning and then they'll, they'll suddenly feel something on their hand Uh-oh. and they'll see a handprint down of ashes. Uh-oh. What was it? But uh, okay, at that point, didn't know yet. Okay. No? So I said, and I was kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. And I said, you better talk to your parents about this. Okay, so I wasn't sure what it was. So I remember that was a Tuesday. The next morning, Wednesday, um, one of my we give retreats, yes. So some of the gifted people, one of the gifted people, uh, sorry, retreats uh, that runs the retreats, uh, contacted, messaged me and said, "I had a dream. We were in front of some big house, and there was ganito, and we were gonna." Blah 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 blah, mm-hmm. and I said, "Oh no, you picked it up." <laughs> and then by the evening, another one messaged me, and he says, "What's going on?" And then he goes, "Why?" I said, "There's something going on." And then he says, "It has to do with the house." I okay, I, I remember pa Yahoo Messenger, mm-hmm. so Yahoo Messenger again like that. And then he asked me, which I forgot. No, he says, "Nako, ayoko na, ayoko na." Goes like that. Was there something to do with the fire? No, there was no mention of a fire. You sure? There's something to do with the fire? Then goes, no. La. Then because, oh my, I remember suddenly the smell of the burning, yes, blah, yes. blah, blah, mm-hmm. and the ashes. And this is because he said that I saw a really dark figure covered with flames. Mm-hmm. A covered and he says, yeah, and he says, hindi ko kaya yan, hindi natin kaya yan, at last natin. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Okay, then I said, wala naman akong kinatanong sa'yo. Like that. I mean, anong atras? Wala naman akong gagawin. Oh, oh, oh. Thursday, I I had work with them again. And so she told me that they had a family meeting and uh, about it. And uh, I remember there were other details that I thought. But one thing was the mother said, I see that manang all the time. I'm just not telling you because I don't want to scare you guys more. So then pala, oh, okay, my God. So I am seeing and so they asked for help. So when during that time, it, my you know right away I it opened again while she was making quest and I was seeing, and then I saw a bathroom. So this is a little funny. Then I said, the, the tiles are kind of like this, parang miskiras and like that. Then oh no, oh no. I said why, why oh no? My mom said, please, sana he doesn't see the bathroom nakakaya. That bathroom nakakaya. <laughs> Kasi hindi pa daw na-renovate. Na ko natawa. And <clears throat> so I saw the bath. But anyway, then I was going around. And then that uh, entity sort of threatened me. Mm-hmm. I entered the room. While you were remote viewing. Yeah, I saw, I remember I saw something like a china cabinet. In, it was just all glass. But it was not positioned by wall. It was in the middle of the room. <clears throat> I said, why is it in the middle of the room? Oh, we're using it as a divider. Oh, and I see crystals inside. I said, yes, that's my mom's sorrows, whatever crystals collection. And suddenly, I heard that entity, negative one. Uh, in my vision, it was shaking it. Mm. And it was all crashing and breaking. Mm. It, which it didn't, no matter. Yes. It said, I can do this. And I can do that much more. Mm. So then I was like, oh, oh, that sounds like a threat. Yeah. So I just asked, you know, but I said, is there anyone who can help uh, here in, in that place? And suddenly it was like I was rushing, running. You know, but in some movies, you make camera, ka and it's running Mm-mm. forward. Mm-mm. Going around until I entered the room, which happened to be the parents' room, and went to the corner. And there was this very regal, 
I don't know kung duende, but parang duende. Without saying though, he says, um, this is my area. This area is protected, but I'm only hanggang dito lang siya. Mm-hmm. So he couldn't help there. And then kaya pa, when I told that, and said, you know, the whole family is sleeping there in the parents' room. Ah. And they're all adults. Yes. <laughs> the kids are all adults. Yes. But that's how scary it's be, uh, It's become. Oh. It's become. So then I asked, is there any anyone else there who can help and uh, suddenly I was in this the dining area parang there was this semi wall partial wall made out of glass bricks and I saw this lady walking sl- slow motion and the whole field was garden it was like garden flowers plants etc and it was like I was seeing her through the glass and she looks at me and she smiles and I said, she just smiled. And after that, everything stopped for about a year. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it just stopped, whoever that lady was. Yes. And then uh, when I got to talk, she says, uh, okay, I get confused. Diwata ma? or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was like a diwata or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. But a year later, that client of mine asked help. It got worse. Uh, and uh, they were so worried about the brother. Because this one, the brother, like the other brother, could see the entity attacking that oh, oh. one brother and couldn't do anything about it. Yes. As in, talagang binyak, he can't sleep. The moment he closes his eyes, ginugulo siya, etc. So, I asked help from <laughs> and Sanya, okay, ikaw ang tutulong. Hindi ko alam. And I said, please, no. And then, pero wag ka pumunta dyan, papuntain mo sa bahay. Jan sayo. Then and dito pa. Oh. like that. And she said, but she said that because this place was really protected. Ah, okay. So many of them. Yes. And other people would say that also that it was uh, okay. The, some of these gifted kids, mm-hmm. uh, well, you know, college kids or whatever, they would sometimes ask, "Can we go to your place? We'll just recharge." Mm-hmm. According to them, they part of that or something. <clears throat> so they would sit around and they'll just recharge and then they leave. Mm-hmm. They went and then they leave. So. I asked him to come. I remembered when they were coming over, I was really nervous and scared because like, what will I say? What will I do? Because I said, let them come. You'll know what to do. Uh-oh. And I didn't want to do So I told them, okay, we fix it. But the night before they were come, yes. are going to come, when I went to sleep, I, I laid down already. In my mind, in my... Uh, I saw the entity, it came on top of me and was staring at my face. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. And it kind of looked like somewhat sort of like V for Vendetta, the mask. Yes. But dark, like dark brown. Mm-hmm. And I just said, you're not allowed here. And then I waved my hand and it disappeared. And then of course, pray again, keep yeah. <laughs> get away from me, get away. Uh, but apparently it kind of knew Atta that you know, and it was trying to intimidate. So yeah. I was in the room, I was waiting, nervous. So, what will I say? What will I say? What will I say? You know, because I didn't have a grasp of it. Yes. It wasn't like something like I can control. It just happens when it needs to. Here comes the family, and the parents were kasama. And the, you know, and I was looking, I think the father skeptical. Yes. Uh-huh. And then so I was like kind of nervous, and the whole time. So I asked Narang for the cuento from the, ano, okay. And then, while that was going on, I was seeing certain things, etc. Then I said, I remember Pa, I said, is there an old lady that you're seeing? Then he goes, yeah, he, yes, there's also this a lady na masungit, na parang scary. I said, oh, don't worry, she's not bad. She's just grumpy. She, she's, you don't always see her. She just walks around sometimes. And then I said, she stays sa garden ninyo. There's this part na lumulubog yung lupa. <laughs> You know, she stays there. And then parang, no matter what you do, lumo, lumo, lumo. that's when I saw the dad open up. Parang, he looked for this. Oh. That's right. That that speech there. I had that covered already and it will sink again. Mm-hmm. Then the father was listening. Then I, oh, okay, thank you. Because I was, <laughs> a part of me was always afraid people think I was not. Yes. Anyway, and then that time, uh, I remember, I, I, I told him to do two things. Which was one was uh, to bless. What was the other one? I forgot. Mm-hmm. But one was basically when you when you're gonna see it, bless it. Don't fight it. Mm-hmm. I said just like say bless it. Father bless 
all those here with me, seen and unseen. Um, bless them with love that they may also be loving. Bless them with peace that they may also be instruments of peace. Bless them with joy that they may, you know, that it'll be overflowing. Just bless. And I said, don't make it lip service. I said, be aware that you're afraid. Yes. Recognize it, but then say, okay, I'm afraid, but I'm going to rise above this and I will choose love. I will choose that. And uh, I, oh my gosh, now I can't remember what was the other thing I asked him to do. But it was there and then. Mm -hmm. And that time when, um, oh, then I, when I described about the creature that, yeah. I know, and he said, you know, you almost look wooden. And then they all, parang eureka yeah. moment. Uh -oh. Then was, they were pointing to that, the, the one, the son that <clears throat> was being played. In one of his travels, pala, he brought home an anito. Ay, yeah. Yun pala yun. Uh -oh. Connected to the anito. So, um, ayun. Um, anyway, so when they got home, they were still staying in the parents' room. That night, the, the brother texted me and said, it started to come towards me. I did what you said. I blessed it. And then I, so I was looking at it, and I, I was blessing it and blessing it. It stopped. And it just looked at me, and then it turned away. What it was nice was after week, it said, he texted me, guess what? I'm sleeping in my room. Everybody else is still sleeping in my parents' room. <laughs> And yeah, it works. It, it's not bothering me anymore. Every time I bless it, 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 it goes away. And that it all arose at that moment. Yes. Parang it was like, oh, okay, I learned it from doing it, but I didn't well, in training, pre plan or, it uh -oh. because I didn't I didn't know what to do. So that's right. She said they'll just tell you what to do. That's why we have guides and angels and I know because they're gonna guide us. So. Of course, I didn't know at that moment. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, hey, will it move here or whatever? Uh, actually, what was interesting kasi was, uh, it was so easy pala. Because many times when people call me, na, ano, um, I mean, and it's usually in the middle of the night. No? So I can't like, go there or something. Ganyan. And I said, okay, let's do this, bless it or whatever, or light or whatever. And then play, you know. And then it was just simple. Eh? And it, it's not like when you fight it, ah, the more aggressive it will be. But you bless it, it's like, okay, who am I going to fight with? <clears throat> um, so that's happened a few, a number of times, and it, it, it's always worked. Um, actually, the way I explain it now, to, to simplify, um, everything along is energy. So it's either negative energy or positive energy. So then if it's coming to you as negative, don't meet it with negative energy, meet it with positive energy. Now, what form will the positive energy take? It's all up to you. If it's going to be music, laughter, if it's going to be prayer, but you know naman what's positive. Eh? It's going to be life, yes. so anything of love, joy, hope, peace, etc. Now, if you go meet it with something negative and the negative is usually dense or heavy, with sadness, fear, anger, you know, those stuff. Well, you're, you're playing in the same wavelength and uh, you're playing in the same field. Yes. So if you are able to lift up to a different playing field, or can't touch it, parang, wala, not in the same frequency. So it's either they're going to have to, and if there's an overpowering frequency, that's called the entrainment, if I remember right, in physics, I think. Well, in, if the one frequency is much higher than the other one, mm -hmm. it will affect the other one. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you raise that frequency higher and make it stronger than the other one, then the other one will have to either yes. adapt or oh. leave. Mm. Yeah, or leave. Because it's kind of like, this is not my... Same frequency. Oh. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. So, okay, this was with So one of the religious that I know, when I say religious, uh, priest, non... Okay, one of them. Uh, can you ask me like that? Because there's this ecumenical or whatever, you know, inter meditation center, na inter religion, ano, that they've been uh, having renovated. But the contractors, the carpenters, whatever, keep on quitting. Because now, minumulto and whatever, binabato sila, whatever, binatago yung gamit, and then minsan, things are flying. So he gives a picture, and then 
uh, a few pictures of the place and gives it to me. And then I was here with and she opens it and she closes it right away. Wag mong buksan, wag mong sunugin, wag mong ano, basta wag mong lang buksan. And like that. Then she tells me, she says, alam mo ilang beses na nila pinabless ng kung ano or pina whatever na hindi nagawa ng kompleto o hindi tama. Ang nangyayari, aalis sila, babalik, mas madami, mas madami. Then sobrang dami na, mas mabuti lang, umalis na lang sila. And she said, bakit mo ganun? Kasi they don't like that we're nakikilam daw kami. And they were trying to enter here through the picture daw. I said, pwede pala yun. Then said, sinusubukan nila ngayon. Said, Nabuti na lang, madami kang bantay dito. Sabi ko, oh my gosh. I, I was even scared to touch the, the damn thing. You know, I was like, oh. I, well, apparently, it could, no? But sometimes that attachment, one time, uh, so a friend, okay, because the, mo the mother bought an antique mirror and placed it uh, somewhere in between the kitchen and the dining uh, ever since they got the mirror um they've been having strange experiences in the kitchen while everyone's asleep they could hear someone's cooking when they're someone's cooking sometimes like the ketchup but then they were kind of convinced that there was something because from the kapit bahay who could see their kitchen you know window they say may bago kayong katulong parating nagluluto uh -oh. <laughs> so anyway okay after na clear he moved to the kitchen next door so yung kapit bahay naman was complaining about the same thing may may narinig kami nagluluto buong gabi may naglu and then pag nagluluto kami nag nagagalaw yung mga sangkap and Okay, if really look for a kitchen to uh -oh. to move to, it went next door. So, but it was attached apparently to the mirror. So, I don't know why, you know, but why they attach. So earthbound, earthbound spirit lang talaga na. Yeah. Ayo mag move to, I mean, mag go to the light ganon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, or maybe not yet time, not yet ready. Gusto talaga magluto. <laughs> I so passionate about cooking. <laughs> Para kagaya yung Liz dun sa sa next sa nagluluto dun sa ano eh no sa house na kinuwento ni Nicolas Ren. Grabe. Parang attached sila to what they were doing before, I guess. Yung passion nila. Yeah, um, um anyway, this one person I know, when he opened up, uh what he got surprised was the place now where he sees a lot of entities, uh, souls, uh human souls, the bank one time when he was there and the the vault was open, it was filled with people, dead people. They were attached to their money. Uh, yeah. And this wasn't a conceptual thing. Yes. Because that person was not open at all. He got possessed. After he was you know, exercised, he, could see he had the gift already. Uh -oh. He could see that. And then he got gulat. Mas madami pa sa bank kesa sa cemetery. Especially sa vault. They're attached to their money. Nicholas, uh, timely lang. Kasi, uh, again, you can choose not to do this. May, may, meron kasi kaming, actually si Sam, as, as uh -huh. nung itong two days ago lang or this today lang, yung isang friend niya na pinuntahan niya yung house, for some reason, nung pupunta siya before, may nararamdaman na siya. Tama, tama no? May nararamdaman ka na doon sa house. Pero hindi invasive or hindi nanggugulo, so hindi niya pinapansin. So magiging consultation to Nicolas. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Sure, Tapos, sure. Kasi, Always okay. glad to help. Okay. So after noon, uh, Sam, sige, baka gusto mo tuloy yung story. Okay, so just to give a backstory po kasi, um, Sir Nicolas. So this friend of mine, we've been friends for 20, 20 years. Um... Ever since po, pag pumupunta ako sa house nila, I feel not comfortable at all. I feel as lang na laging madilim lang yung bahay. But since wala naman po akong naririnig o wala naman ako na, na wala naman silang nakikwento sa akin tungkol sa any malignant spirit or any spirit na nagiging negative sa bahay nila, hindi ko na din mo pinansin. So, for the longest time, I don't stay inside their house. I always 
na doon lang sa terrace. Three months ago, yung best friend kong yon, she had a very mild stroke. Like, she, her hypertension came up to 200. Nag-hypertension siya na 200. So, after that, na nag-check up siya, na-diagnose na din siya na may depression siya and anxiety. Now, knowing that, medyo, doon lang ako medyo nagbabase kasi feeling ko naman, baka naman, you know, psychology, psychological issue lang. But, um, ever since then, pag bumibisita ako sa kanya at least once or twice a month, yung depression and anxiety niya, nagkikake yan ng sobrang-sobra. As in to the point where she has um, migraine, she has troubles breathing. Um, eh, ang nangyayari, ang nangyayari po kasi is that I have to literally drag her out of the house. Like literally, huwag tayo dyan sa kusina mo. Kasi she, she cooks as well po kasi. So, I drag her out of the house, I drag her to the terrace where she will feel more okay perhaps. Pero, Lalo doon pa rin yung ganun niya, yung mga symptoms niya na migraine and yung difficulty in breathing. So, ang kinatatakot ko po, ang kinatatakot namin kasi, me personally, is that if there is indeed that, that entity inside that house na umaatake sa kaibigan ko, she has a kid. A, she has a 12-year-old kid, if I'm not mistaken, 12, na baka mamaya ma, maapektohan na din if ever yeah um but you've not seen this entity or what that... i haven't po. i just feel nung kasi na po doon sa house na yon um i barely stay inside the house for longer than 30 minutes and lagi lang po ako doon sa kusina pero yung nararamdaman kong negative entity i'm not saying negative um there's just an entity doon sa may party ng mga kwarto nila at mga at salas. Pero ako sa kusina lang talaga. Kasi may separate entrance yung kusina eh. So doon lang ako mapasok. Never doon sa kabila. So when you're making kwento, uh, because sometimes, of course, when we see things, uh, um, sometimes it's weird or we can't explain it. So I just have to say na lang what is up. I was seeing a male presence and then it's like a native hat. I don't know if it's salakot or something. Salakot na yung tawag na round Uh, na parang and then there's like a strap around the no? male the hair's a little long and so I don't know if that's the one but when you're making content that, that, that's what I can see um, but does your friend um, believe in these things? Um, she used she used to double or she tried tapping into her to the supernatural before but she she was never gifted kasi kasi idad ko po kasi siya eh. so dumating talaga dun sa point na nung aminin aminin man natin o hindi dun, dumating tayo sa edad ng mga around teenage teenage years natin na we everyone thought that they're a witch so dumating da, duma uh, uh, duma dumaan siya dun sa face na yon dumaan siya dun sa face na yon but what as we were growing up I just didn't support what she's doing because first and foremost, I know how um, that's a, you know, parang rabbit hole yun eh. Na pag pinasok niya, hindi ka na makakalabas dyan. Kasi ako, I'm already there. So, you know, yun yung sinatatakot ko sa kanya. Pero she ne- she was never able to, you know, um, how do you call that? Never able to communicate properly to the spirits and stuff like that. So, I doubt na nak- nakakakita siya. But What's happening is that um, parang ang kinakakaba namin is that why is it that pag dumarating ako doon sobra yung atake nung nung ganun nung spirit na yon. Oh. Sa iyo tsaka sa kanya, sa iyo sa kanya. Mm-mm. More sa kanya, lately mm-hmm. lang kanina lang yung sa akin. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when you're not there, what does she The, the normal the, she's trying lately she's been doing yoga so I think that she's meditating properly pero before naman po parang more on anxiety and depression lang as in she knows that it's there pero pag dumarating ako talagang over nag-override yung nag-overdrive yung anxiety niya na parang nag-feed parang more siyang pinupush nung spirit 
Okay, what I'm getting is it's threatened by you because you're the one that's going to be helping her out of that. I, I saw an I image actually of you uh, bringing the light to her. And so maybe that presence kind of knows it and is threatened by you because you're the one that's going to help. <laughs> Kasi yun po yung, yun nga po yung kinatatakot ko is that, um, like what you said, I, I that's what I, I initially felt as well. And I told her that before. Um, pero kasi parang, uh, the, 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 I guess the question would be, how do I attack this now? Provided that, nagano po siya na parang, how do you call that? Narito na doon siya sa point na, Ano ba kala mamamatay na ba ako? Bakit ganito yung mga nararamdaman ko? Ganun na kasi siya. So parang may sense of urgency na din akong kailangan kong gawin. So I don't know how I will attack it. Um, okay. Wait. <clears throat> You've been inside the house? Yes, of before. Up, up, okay. up, up. Wait. I'm seeing red, reddish, wait, floor that I don't know if it's concrete, tile, whatever. Big area, wait, floor, and it looks reddish. Uh, a reddish floor. Hindi po yung uh, actually po you you might be picking up kasi yung pader nila is red kasi may pa, para po kasi gagawing restaurant yun eh. Tapos yung ilaw talaga po nag the floor would look red literally because of oh. yung reflection ng 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 pader nila. Opo. I'm seeing kasi you and her sitting there and it's from there that you're starting to clear the place. Um, and I think we can do it is just do it together and, and clear it by blessing the place and and ano, but not attacking the entity uh, because the old school talaga is we attack eh, but anything we attack even even if it, maybe it isn't really a bad entity it might not even really be negative it but it just might feel threatened and even the nicest person you know um, can become really bitchy or mean if it feels threatened like people people that know me no i don't make mora and stuff but me wait till wait till you i'm dealing with joe telecom and you'll hear me mora, <laughs> so it's like you, with globe telecom customer service oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but i mean i mean even the nicest person uh May moments that you're going to snap. So the thing is, um, the entities, whatever they are, if you if you offend them, because the first time I assisted someone, well, no, aside from when I was a kid, when with uh, during an exorcism, and uh, the person was saying, that, you know, the, the entity was roaring and scary and everything, but the exorcist was saying, no, th this is not a bad one. This is the, so don't be fooled. So what do we don't be fools. I mean, it's roaring. It's trying to scare us. It's a it's a it's a good entity, na man. But he's threatened. He feels threatened. That's what, ganon. And he says, but it's not. And then later on, after the calm down, na yan, and then the na normal na. Then he said he's not the only one there. Then the bad one came out. <laughs> <laughs> then the ano, I said, now this is the one. <laughs> you know. Then I said. I was wondering, how could you tell? You know, they were both roaring and what. And it's like, I guess that was his gift. He knew which was the, you know, because the first one that was roaring and whatever ended up helping them. Mm. Actually, even helping the 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 people, you know, like, said, okay, I'll help your business. Mm -mm. And then they reported that after that, they got the best, you know, their store sales was booming and whatever. Mm -hmm. After they cleared, of course, the negative one. So, uh, don't attack it. Don't attack it. Uh, if ever, just bless it. Uh, bless it. And then, um, for her to, uh, know, to claim the space and put the rules in the space, na, you know, it's like only good uh, light and love and whatever can remain here. Now, if that entity wants to stay there, it has to stay in that frequency. In other words, you parang raise the frequency of the place and then you seal it. Yeah. Well, that like that exercise we did before the light yes yeah like that also and then you raise it and seal it and then um declare it that that light will remain not even if uh, it is not dependent on my ego mind which will forget 
but my soul won't my spirit will remember and we will hold we will keep this you know but bless it even though it will act up bless it because maybe from the blessing alone that's what i'm gonna do um the, the, i think that i think that she's very open about it and in, in any level she's she's okay with it the only thing that i need to make sure that i am prepared as well kasi baka nga po kasi before kasi may 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 ganun naman din po ako kasi may may experience din po kasi ako na medyo dumidikit din sa akin kumakapit sa akin so i i think i should prepare as well myself yeah bring salt Apa. okay then because that's the salt can ano and then when you get home uh before you go to the house this is when i learned naman from my you douse yourself with salt and then just clear it away and then take a bath also with the first tabo that with salt <laughs> but, uh, you know yeah. um I, i'll make quite also about an experience and wherein i discovered salt because at that moment lang it, it worked um there was a president of a university that contacted me asking help if i because he knew about me hmm. connected and i said it help because the executive assistant yeah they moved into a new house with the wife and the daughter and the daughter kept on getting attacks mm -hmm. all sorts of attacks and uh, she's saying she sees all these people and stuff and so i contacted uh oh no i couldn't go i couldn't reach she wasn't reply but i told them okay just give the wife give the family the husband and wife uh, my number and on that day, I remember the evening, the wife called. The, the husband wasn't there. The wife and the Lola, well, they were panicking because the girl now couldn't move, 12 year old girl. She couldn't move at all. Uh, and she was being attacked. And so I said, okay, at that time, this was the earlier part. I said, okay, uh, wait first, huh? I will do something and uh, I'll get back to you. And so my first thing I prayed, and then I asked my friends to go. Then I called again, oh, how is it now? Said, yeah, she can move her upper body, but she can't move her legs. And she says she could see whatever. Mm -hmm. So then while we were praying, I, I suddenly said, this wasn't from my mind. It was, I suddenly said, uh, do you have rock salt? Get the rock salt and then say a blessing of it and then sprinkle it on the legs. And then I don't know where that came from. That, that really just came out in the moment. Yeah. And where the girl said she could feel the salt painful, but she could move her legs. And the old woman, though, that's one of her others, was the one in pain from the salt and had to move away. I asked, uh, I couldn't get in touch with the I asked another gifted friend, and then right away, she was saying, uh, it's the owner of the house. She, she, it her she can't let go of it that's her house why is still there she wants to go out. but then I, I, I was surprised that the salt pala works mm -hmm. and then and another time also when uh i said can you just surround your bed with salt and then it stops okay i said until we could clear it so apparently salt does help yes but of course putting some positive intention with it yes will help yes. so sometimes when i someone asks and it's like, uh, you know, it's 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 kind of like rush and right now and whatever. I said, you know, sprinkle salt all around the the corners of the house, all around, you know. And then, after a day or two, then just sweep it away with the intention. Also, the intentions important. Yes. Someone actually gave me black tourmaline. Also, somebody said, "Oh, protection." Somebody gonna oh, you you have this for protection because you know you deal with spirits and stuff. Ah, okay. Then yeah. So I said I looked it up. Ah, okay. Mura lang siya sa Shopee. <laughs> Nakakatakot lang, mamaya. Hindi naman totoo. O, oh, yun nga. Yun, yun, resin lang. <laughs> yun nga. Ilang Ako yun, nahanap yun ko sa stash ni mama. So, never ko na tinanggal. Black well, iba-ibang klaseng tourmaline. This is mine. Hindi makita. Oo. Dapat siya mukha mo. Dapat siya mukha mo. Ang galing, galing, uh -oh. galing ng magic mo. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan sa doon ko ilagay para makita. Ano, okay, apparently, well, I... But again, you know, it's our belief. You know, the the Saint Benedict, Saint Benedict yes, okay. medallion. Mm -hmm. Okay, because like 
that exorcism that I did, which was the most intense one that I encountered, it was December 2019. Um, so though I had to call in a re, you know someone who's really seriously into exorcism, so to help. And after that, he gave us all the medallions, wear it, wear it again. And then, uh, so pinalagay din sa door ng place. Ay yan pinanggal yung ano ayun nagumpisa na ah, ay, pinanggal parang <laughs> di ba it was like oh. it was like that but what was interesting for me was si I'll wear it you know um that week one week after this friend of a, a couple that friends of mine that uh, they're born again hmm. so they don't uh, believe in that but someone gave them a door knocker the saint benedict <laughs> and then they said you know someone gave this to us and we're not Catholic, but uh, baka you want it. And then ako talaga, oh my gosh, it's a sign. Uh-oh. Diba? It was like, okay, protection. So it's in my door. <laughs> diba? So I said, why will this come? Yes. It, it came to me a week yes. after. So, But I think it's also the collective ano, yes, energy uh-oh. that diba, believes. Correct. Nicholas, tatanong ko sa'yo, meron kasi kami nakausap uh, naman na she, she was talking about her spirit guides. Do you also experience that yung parang mga synchronicities? Again, again that, that was a synchronicity, but do you experience other synchronicities na parang since, I, I'm not sure if all of your spirit guides communicate with you, but do some of them na communicate through synchronicities with you? Yeah, because very few actually uh, communicate. It's hard to tell. Eh. It's more me, the one making, talking to them. Ah, okay. and so sometimes it's, it's through signs na lang or uh-huh. I, I will just see na lang an image lang. Like, it will pop up lang. Ah, okay. Like, I suppose, I don't know. No? Like, for example, now, when when uh, when S was oh. saying, I, I was starting to see things already. Then I said, oh, okay, you're, you're, you're ano. or may, may pumapasok, like the one kanina, yung said, and then read. And then suddenly, parang may, uh, I don't mind. Ah, okay. I don't mind if you say my name. Uh-oh. Parang ganyan. Uh-oh. <laughs> parang, it, it just popped in. Like, oh, okay. Uh-oh. Um, but yeah, synchronicity also, yeah, little, little signs. Or, mm-hmm. and, and that would happen sometimes with people I have to look out for. Mm-hmm. Ah, no, okay. Okay, explain. Um, we'd have a, re- we'd give retreats about five times a year. And after every retreat, I would message the, the participants, you know, just like follow up house, yes. everything. And I was chatting with one of them. And this was about 2011 or 10, 2010. And Facebook, after we chatted, this particular kid, the window would not close. You know, diba, after your chat window, before, oh, 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 oh. it will, diba, I am a close. Mm-hmm. I am a close. As in for months, it wouldn't close. As in you go to a different browser, different computer, it's still there. So I thought it must be a glitch. And uh, says it's not a glitch. Uh, it's a, your friends are messaging you to keep an eye on that kid. I remember pa what was really strange was one time we were working somewhere and we needed my computer and the client was saying, wait, wait, let's look, look, let's look at your, you know, Facebook page or something. When you close that window, it was open. It was in the middle part. Yes. I said, good luck. Try closing <laughs> it. And you can close it. Just close it. It wouldn't close. It wouldn't minimize. It wouldn't, uh, not that time, it was really calling at them. Uh, until that issue, eventually that kid had a really big family issue that uh, one of the family members asked me to talk to him because it was like, parang he was in denial that there was a problem wasn't opening up when everybody was dealing with it. He wasn't sharing in the experience. But when when that issue was over and he find we got to talk, uh, parang the the sense of mission for that. Oh tapos. Uh-oh. And but it came through a glitch on Facebook. Uh-oh. So mga ganyan, it's more strange. You know? Or I remember uh, I was going to the retreat, one of the retreats. And I just noticed that the driver of the Grab was a particular name. And she just, okay. Mm. And then when we were you know, going there, I saw a billboard and I saw the name again. And then I saw the name three times. Mm-hmm. And then later when we were in the retreat, like, there was a kid with that name that had a particular problem that I had to deal with. 
Mm-hmm. So, parang it was like, ah, okay. That's like, oh, tutukan mo yan. Oh, oh, oh. Or watch, ah, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, synchronicity uh, uh, plays a lot. Yes, yeah, so... Oh, especially with, ano, um, YouTube video. What the... <laughs> YouTube likes to show yes. you stuff what oh. to watch. Oh. And then suddenly, why did you show this one? And then I'll watch and then it's just, oh, it's pertinent. Parang it's like, ah, okay, I know, you know, it's either pertinent to a situation and, you know, or suddenly someone will call me about a certain problem. I said, you know what? Watch this video. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it came to me kanina. Yes, oh. It suwak na suwak sa problem. Mm-mm. Yeah. Ah, okay, so. In numbers by does it work that way with you? Pag yung sa girl kasi na nagkwento, parang may master numbers sa kanyare. Ma pag nakikita niya to certain number, she knows that there's a, 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 diff, a change coming into her life or something. I only notice that sometimes if I see that number repeated, then I look what does it, what does that angel number say? But it doesn't always happen to me. But there are times it does. I know some people it always happens. They'll, they'll tell me, what does it mean? I see, let's say. <laughs> This number, I saw it four times na today. Ganyan. Well, I said, you can Google it. <laughs> you may angel numbers or whatever. But yeah, sometimes there, there are signs. Na, ano. Alam mo yung, Nicholas, yung sinabi mo, very again, sobrang tumatak sa amin when you told us na for some reason this year, uh, the frequencies were parang mixing or they were there was something happening eh, diba? so every time we talk to sensitive people we bring it up now what are their experiences with that and i'm not sure if uh, jade was able to share with you the our talk with the light worker for her it's the because earth is the ascension of earth eh, diba? parang yun so we're, we're uh, earth is moving up and something is pushing down and that's why the frequencies are mixing though for her uh i'm not sure what w- what's your belief with regards to oh that? okay yeah um so the ascension okay a number of sources are saying there's a actual physical component to that um just as the earth now is rotating around the, the sun in the solar system our whole solar system is rotating now around the galaxy and we're entering now an area in the galaxy where the frequency of energy now, intensity and frequency is higher. So because that's higher, everything in that area is going to lift. So including the earth and everything in it. The problem is that a lot of things that are rooted in lower frequencies don't agree with it. So it will kind of like uh, resist, fight back, etc. And that's why now all of these are coming. What they're a lot of these sources, um, which are spiritual teachers or guides or whatever, they've been talking about this time period. They're calling it the shift. So because things are going to shift. And basically, a large part of the shift now is that that will happen is where the humanity is going to see all that it has created and see what doesn't serve it anymore. So the old ways don't work anymore. A lot of the things that we've been holding on to, it's like, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So everything that was being brought now to the surface, in other words, the new vibration is shaking out the old vibration, so it's coming forth and it's 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 resisting. And that's why even stuff like, uh, you know, there's so much awakening going on and it's like no more, like <clears throat> that, um, it was the Me-, Me Too movement. So something that's been happening for centuries, for millennia, it's no more. You can't, it's like saying, that's the old ways, we were not doing that. Anyway. And they're even saying stuff like, uh, um, things will change, even like the financial system will change. And that's why you have that Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency, because probably that's it, that the old systems don't like Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies because they can't control it. Well, the money they can control. Everything's changing. But part of the process is uh, there will be a clash because the old still wants to hold on. I'd like to ask you with regards to your belief in that. Meron kasing, again, iba-ibang uh, belief yung mga nakausap namin. Do you believe na extraterrestrial nature yung, yung shift? Um, 
Well, they they all say that they are of those that are you know, they're not causing it to shift. They're observing it and assisting whatever. That's what uh, I know because from many they say they're not allowed to. Uh, they're not allowed to to really disturb or to you know they will assist depending on how like many that are supposed to be communicating with them they're saying that they will communicate once now uh, earth is ready and when is earth ready when the majority believe and are, are ready because if they come now it's going to um, spread so much fear and panic but apparently it's but a number of them are saying it's going to be pretty soon and oh, okay. diba, suddenly the US government is now oh, oh, exposing, na yung mga exposing it already na, oh. although some of those that have been following it are saying the agenda of the US is different which is uh, to create a new enemy so that they can raise funds for to defend you know the military mm-hmm. and whatever mm-hmm. so there's always an other agenda now so I'm not sure but yeah, I'll be welcome if there is any. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but but you have you experienced anything strange? Na parang hindi to multo, hindi to elemental, hindi rin siya of angelic nature. No, uh, I guess because it might be also on our ano eh, the filters we have on. So since me, I've been more connected with the spiritual aspect. I see everything from a spiritual, I don't know. So if ever there are ones that I see, I think, oh, must be some, you know, not, not, not uh, extraterrestrial. Yes, yes. Well, maybe another person might see the same thing and look at it as an extraterrestrial. Uh, okay, okay. Right? Uh-huh. Because again, it's our perception. Like, for example, some of my friends that I see, um, when, okay, I would see them in a certain form. And I'll ask my gifted friends. There's two that I mainly ask. I said, um, I need to know if I'm dreaming, I'm, you know, or what, you know, because there's someone that I see or something I see. And then what I was told is, um, they're showing me in something that I will relate to. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. So it's not exactly the, what they will see. Because like the one I said, I said, can you see? All I can tell, she said, she told me, this other gifted friend, she says, all I can tell you, he's male, uh, male energy and very powerful, but that's the, and the way he's showing himself to you is different. And then she says, he said now, pick now a card from this deck. She goes like that. Um, because I, I asked her, can you see what does he appear like? Yeah. Because for me, I wanted validation oh, yes. of another love. Oh. And then, so she... I, I, I picked the card and it was a card of the animal that I saw. So then I, oh, okay, I get it. Parang, so, okay. So animal, animal na may humanoid features? No, parang, I think it's an actual animal. Actual animal, okay. Now, uh, one time during a semi-exorcism, um, that the person that was helping said, I saw this, I saw this, and I saw uh, yeah. And this was at the point na nung na, na clear na siya. That, that animal came to help. Oh, I said, okay, that, that was, I said, that's one of my friends. So I, then I, I felt reassured. Ay, salamat. Because sometimes you see this, and like, why am I seeing the, like this here? Or why is there? Baka may affinity ka for animals, pati yung bear na. <laughs> Kasi... yeah, maybe nga. Because a number are animals. Yeah. And then, uh, the, the, the strange thing is uh, three of the ones that I've seen uh, are Greek already. And they didn't come at the same time, at different times. And I was thinking, okay, why am I... I know, and I associate them with Greek gods, you know, because they look like, okay, you know, yeah. And then <laughs> um, one time, so the second one, the second one came, looked like a certain one, I felt it was a certain... And then... This gifted friend of mine says, oh, so you have a new friend. Yeah. Is that Hermes? He goes <laughs> like that. And then I said, oh my gosh. And I said, that's, that's my interpretation also. I said, it looked like, because he kept on moving so fast. 
So I was wondering why. And then one time, uh, this was last year, I was able to have a session with one of these channelers uh, who's based abroad. And uh, so she went through my, well, the channel the entity went through my past life. And then told me that there was one time I was in a philosopher's school uh, during the Greek period. I was studying under, I forgot which philosopher, but I was very uh, connected now with the Greek God. And then so when she told me that, oh, that's why I see three Greek yeah. uh -oh. figures. Yes. In, uh, and even actually, some the that ink, Incan or whatever told me also that I had appeared like that there. I was with the shamanic group. So, okay. Oh, okay. so that's why palang may mga palang mga connection. So I said, oh, with past, past lives. Although, of course, the others would say they're not actually past, they're simultaneous. That brings me to a, a, a nice question. Like, ano kami, nag crossover kami with the light worker in Denmark and this uh, girl from Amsterdam that could see auras. She also, she joined the group sa Amsterdam na parang they use, kasi yung meron siyang strength with channeling eh. Yun yung kanyang parang ability, one of her abilities. And they would channel entities through her and they would communicate with that entity through her. One of the uh, beings she channeled, the best thing she could describe it as, parang sabi niya time spirit. Kasi when the light worker was talking about time streams, parang seeing it as uh, seeing it as uh, water, and then parang you could see individual orbs. Now, so while while the light worker was describing it, bigla nag butt in si si Amsterdam girl. Parang sabi niya, that's you know na yun yung pag explain sa akin ng time spirit. Medyo masungit na yung time spirit ng chine channel siya pero Mabait naman daw, pero masungit lang. And then, yun nga, uh, have you experienced na parang may ganun na hindi sila, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, na parang, ano yun? Ano yung time spirit na yun? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I did have a dream that was so vivid the one time that it blew my mind actually a bit and I did, I had to consult with my brother what it was or, or other gifted people what it was and I remember lang that this presence was like wearing a hood and then the face it was as if a galaxy or the, the ano, was on the face Parang ganyan, and then was staring at me and then I was like I was scared I don't want to look at you because you're scary and like that because it was you know and then looks at me and just smiles you know na parang, but the smile was parang pilio, like it was uh, it was like, okay, you're scared. Look at me, look at me. Ganyan. And um, what it was explained to me was it was some sort of like a gatekeeper between dimensions or time or something. Now, and I said, I have no idea what it means or what. I said, so I don't know what that means. But I, okay. Uh, one of the ones that I listen to pretty often uh, is this channeled entity, Bashar. I don't know if you've heard of him by Daryl Anka. Um, I, how will I put it? Spirituality, but from a point of view of physics. It's very okay. physics and mm -hmm. everything. And he talks about everything, energy. And I mean, if ever you get to listen to him when people ask questions, he's just really like, you can't catch him off guard. Mm -hmm. He just, everything is like, may sagot talaga, mm. and it's like, oh, you're making this up. No, no, not talaga. He knows. But uh, one thing now he says, it's this, and this is fascinating. He says now that there are infinite parallel universes. Yes. Mm -mm. And in every moment now, we are shifting from one parallel universe to another, depending now on the frequency that we hold. And the frequencies are shaped by our thoughts and our belief systems. So that in every second now, you were shifting to ano, so that what happens now is that we 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 can shift to the parallel universe where we prefer 
and and we do it all the time but we're usually not doing it consciously now i might be not sure what but there were two instances that i experienced i can't experience that um i would bring out my dog usually before no so pre-pandemic i would bring out my dog at around midnight and uh, during that time i would be walking uh, my dog and praying at the same time and she looked forward to it and i was downstairs and it was raining and i was like oh i was saying no it's raining and then i closed my eyes and then i, I was just telling myself you know uh, i was just kind of saying uh, i'll shift uh, i'll shift to a, a time when it's not raining i'll shift to a time when it's not raining and then for a split second i think i fell asleep or it felt like I fell asleep and it wasn't raining anymore. And I was shocked and I looked at the time. No, I didn't fall asleep. I mean, like, it's the it, same it time. wasn't like, oh, yeah. And then we went out, we went back in. When we went back in, it started to rain. So then I thought, oh, God, I kind of shit. Mm-hmm. I, I think. Huh? And the other time was I was going to SNR and uh, I was with a grab driver, but I was worried about time. And then we were about to turn right, but it was like, oh God, we can't turn right. It's just so traffic. We have to find another route. And then I was saying, I want, uh, I want to shift the time to, I know. And I was just like calmly, energetically and everything you go to. I know. And then suddenly we were able to turn right and the driver goes, I don't know yet, it's the traffic. So then I kept quiet. I was like, oh my gosh, did I actually shift? Like what he said, but he says, that's what we do all the time. And actually, what he's saying now, with what he was explaining now, with the shift that's going on, is what might actually happen is that it it's like we're gonna shift into two different realities. Uh-oh. There are some people that are opening up, awakening, etc., and then they're going to be shifting yes, into uh-oh. more awakened reality. While the others that are staying Stay in behind. what they call three three D, yeah, they're staying uh-oh. in this <laughs> reality because they're talking about things, dimensions and density. Yes, I'm densities. Still, uh, diba? I'm uh, still at a grasp uh, because iba pala yung density sa dimension. Yes, so. But supposedly we are, we were in the third, third, we're in fourth now, going to supposedly shifting towards the fifth. And some people now are already partially fifth. Ah, oh, oh. That's why they're able to, and supposedly now the fifth dimension uh, manifestation happens faster. Sab, so, so, parang lumalabas sa, again, we, yung light worker na kausap namin, sinishare niya sa amin is, uh, parang lumalabas yung ibang, again, extraterrestrial uh, beings, they're in a different density. Kaya, again, hindi natin mapansin or whatever. And they're, again, they're supporting the ones here in, right now na malapit sa shift, na ready to shift. Yun yung mga kasi na support nila. I'm not sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. I'm not sure if naka-experience ka na the other time kasi nakausap namin yung si Maria, yung light worker. Sabi niya, that past week, parang wala siyang sense of time. As in, parang may times na 1pm pa lang and then mamaya yung konti 6pm na pero parang in the blink of an eye nag-change yung time. It seems to happen. Ga- yes. Um. Well, a lot. Minsan it's the days. It's like, what? It's Friday na? Parang ha? Huh? No, it's Tuesday. It's Friday. It's like, or maybe I'm just losing track of time being stuck in the house for the whole time, you know. So, I know. But yeah, time sometimes seems to be moving. Well, they're saying time time is moving faster. But for sensitives, like, eh, Sam, and ka ba? Si Sam rin, kasi when, when Maria brought that up, si Sam sobrang, ah, ako rin. Kasi not, parang humiga lang siya, para mag umun, umunat lang siya, and biglang four hours past na. Tama, di ba, Sam? Pero yun yung time na sinabi nga ni Maria na there was something different with time. May wonky. For sensitives, ako wala naman ko. <laughs> yung sa akin, yung sa akin talaga pagka, as in, like right now, like for example, right now, cause it, at my back, it's my bed already. So I was I was doing something on my computer, tapos nag-lunch ako, I know that I took my lunch at around like 12 o'clock, tapos kumain ako, mabilis lang ako kumain. I stretched my back, so sabi ko, rather than typing again, I would just lay in my bed for like a good minute or two. I stretched my back. I said, talaga siguro, hindi pa, I know that I was viewing a, a Jeffree Star YouTube. Siguro, 
wala pang 30 minutes yung 30 minutes yung video niya pero pag mulat pag pagbangon ko pag check ko sa telepono ko halos 4 na ano nangyari sa parang feeling ko isa lang yung video na pinanood ko pero Oh, clock na agad. Ano ba? Nasaan yung tatlong oras ko? Balik mo sa akin. Kailangan ko yun. Yung ganun classic. May moment na ganun. So, yung Nicholas, walang ganun. Walang, wala. Yun lang talaga. Yung days lang talaga. Parang passing by. You know? Yeah. If ever. Well, no. Sometimes, di ba? You're preoccupied with something. Oh. Just time moves faster. And then like, ah, it's, it's ano already. Or, minsan, parang ubos na yung araw. Parang ganun, ha? Oh. It's like, time moves. I just noticed time seems to be moving faster. Sige. To close na kasi malapit na yung deadline <laughs> natin. Nicholas, uh, to ask like, to ask you lang, baka meron kang, again, uh, some people are listening to us because, yun nga, we, we try to provide help to other people. So if if people are experiencing uh, weird or scary stuff at home or at the workplace kung nag- pumapasok sila, would you be able to give them parang uh, at least a parang Meron bang parang protection or something to... Yeah. Okay. okay, the first thing talaga is, ano eh, bless. Don't be ruled by the fear because they will want to... Okay, that, that person before that, um, after natapos yung exorcism, it would still try to attack her. And then she said, what, why, why like that? I said, because it's trying to scare you. Because if you go, become scared and you feel hopeless... They say, oh my gosh, I'm exercise, exercise na ako and it's still coming. Then you feel hopeless. Oh, wow. Then it wins already because you fall into that frequency. You're saying you're going to its playing field. So don't stay in that frequency. Raise the frequency by blessing. or uh, You can address. If you don't address the entity directly, you can just say like, oh, yeah, uh, Lord, please bless all. But then feel it. Um, feel it from within. You know, Even though you're afraid, Go deep in your heart, in your heart of hearts, and then find that peace, find the joy, find the love there, and then project it. You can project it as a light. If light is, if you can't imagine light, then choose a color that find, you find peaceful. Diba? And then think, okay, let's say, oh, I like uh, light blue. Okay, then feel that light blue, imagine, and then just project that light blue with, with that love, peace, and whatever, and project it to all those that will be there. Whatever energy that's there it could be cleared or whatever or if it's a conscious energy it it will appreciate it might appreciate it or well if it's more nastier than that it, it will have to deal with it somehow but 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 that at its most basic i know is that you go you leave its frequency you, you bring your own frequency so bring the party there don't don't go you know if that entity is giving you a feeling of oppression don't create your own jail with your mind by saying, oh, it's so sad here, it's so, ano, and then I'm afraid and everything you just created a prison. Bring the party. You must be happy, be joyful, be whatever. Or, um, and by declaring it, by, by feeling it. Oh, okay, I learned something. I have to make this grand, it, although it's not directly, you know, but this was, I was so fascinated by this because this was right before Holy Week. Um, I came across a video and then the person was just saying, you just tell yourself all the time that I'm blessed or I'm lucky. Let's say lucky. I'm lucky. I'm so lucky. But believe it. I'm so lucky. I'm luckier now than yesterday. And I'm luckier tomorrow than today. I'm just so lucky. And whatever happens, oh, I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. Even if I, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, but no, no. It, it doesn't seem like a blessing now. But this is a blessing. I'm more blessed. Okay, then what was happening was there was a Lazada sale and um, there was something I was going to buy. Uh, it was some sort of media player because my TV wasn't a smart TV, so I wanted to make a smart TV. It's 4,000. What? Because of the sale, it's too late. Nah, the server there. Then I found out that if I use my credit, this particular credit card and I used 5,000 pesos worth of buy 5,000 worth uh, on Lazada during the sale, oh. I'll get an additional, I forgot, how many percent off? Basta bumaba na lang na from 4,000 naging 2,4. So, yay! Oh. I'm so lucky. It was just like <laughs> feeling lucky no matter what. And then, got it, bought some other stuff. Okay, then fine. Holy Week and it was also easy, uh, ECQ, etc. So, I was thinking, okay lang malit yung ano, kasi ECQ. Then, it was supposed to arrive April 1. April 1, hindi pa dumadating, nag- text at email ang Lazada 
sorry we were not able to uh what do you call this deliver. meet our yeah. deadline okay. deliver but please give us more time for oh, sure tomorrow lang naman yan. the next day april 2 i looked a uh, tracking oh it's on the way to the pasig hub or whatever so i said oh that means by the next day or the, the next day i'll get uh -oh. it that was april 2 then before the end of the day of april 2 message from lazada uh, we apologize for not being able to blah 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 you know honor the commitment so we have refunded your money and cancel the order my initial reaction oh. no uh -oh. Saya, uh -oh. oh no so i can't but i said no i'm lucky i'm still lucky for some reason i this is this is really good luck so i call i contacted lazada chat chat with them oh sorry then said don't worry you can buy it back i said i can't because the sales over it's four thousand pesos again <laughs> I oh okay sorry for that like that ganyan, ganyan. Uh, I hope you will accept these two hundred peso credits we're putting to your Lazada wallet. So I said, oh, I told myself, oh okay, I'm lucky I got my money back in two hundred and maybe it's because I'm going to get a nicer version yes. of the media player yes. or get a bet, uh, better, better deal, deal etc. Ganyan, ganyan. And then um then then I realized after I said wait. Since hindi na tuloy yun, baka hindi na pumasok lahat ng iba kong binili sa minimum limit for the, the discount of the credit card. So I contacted Lazada again. Oh, don't worry, we'll fix that. And because of the inconvenience, please accept this 200 pesos. I'm so lucky I got 400 pesos. Okay. Then I would think, I'm so lucky I'll find, you know, maybe with this 400 pesos and that I'll find a better deal, blah, blah, blah. The next day. I got surprised. The media player was delivered to my house. <laughs> I said, what's going on? And then I get a text, from an email from Lazada. We, uh, we mistakenly delivered to your house the item that we already refunded and can't uh, uh, refunded mm -hmm. to you. No worries. It's yours for free. <laughs> I'm so lucky. So that's my mantra now. You know, I'm lucky, I'm blessed, uh -oh. etc. Of course, there are times you get caught off guard, diba? Like, yes. Like I was having a hyperacidity and it was kind of hard to say. I'm so lucky for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> I can't sleep, but, uh, you know, but but still that, ano. And then I said, oh my gosh, it, it, it's... Um, there are always little things. Yes. Like I, that same time also, problem, the aircon was leaking, mm -hmm. etc. There was having problems with the aircon, blah, blah, blah. I had to come to LG, etc. That I was saying, no, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. And then, yeah, they replaced na lang the official aircon person with a new aircon person that was charging so much cheaper than the first one. I said, there, that was the that was the blessing from that problem with the aircon. Now I don't have to pay, you know, instead of paying that one thousand five hundred, I'm now paying one two parang ganyan, to clean, you know, parang ganyan. So, parang there's always something. So I just I have to. So we create it na lang by law of attraction talaga. Yeah, but which is a changing frequency. Thank you. Yes, thank you too. And anyway, thank you so much. Anyway, if anybody needs help naman, I'm ready and willing to help. So hopefully not needed, but Yes, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, diba? uh -oh. Thank you. Yes, thank you too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you Nicholas for sharing your stories with us. I think I will forever carry your story about the spirit of the bear in your house this is the first time i've heard of someone with a spirit animal here in the philippines for the teaser i specifically chose to highlight the words nicolas said don't create your own jail with your mind if there is an oppressive entity you simply leave its frequency you bring your own frequency and i think I hope this reaches the people who need to hear this. If you want to hear the episodes where we first met Nicholas, I'll post the links in the show notes below. Those episodes are a good resource for protection and understanding the invisible world we coexist with. If you've had similar experiences with Nicholas, why don't you tell us about it? Email us at paranormalsph at gmail.com However, if you want to discuss this further with the podcast community, hop in to our Discord server. We have several chat rooms there where we can discuss and digest all the experiences that were said. Link to join is in the show notes. Masaya dun kasi may morning shift and may night shift. <laughs> so, shout out sa BPO peeps sa Discord. 
The Paranormal Podcast is engineered and produced by F90 Productions. If you have the time, please again rate and review our show on whatever podcast platform you follow. Although restrictions have eased and marami nang nag-ghost hunting dyan, let's all still be cautious and stay safe. Ingat po tayong lahat. <laughs>